All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Harakah Kadash, the blindness to the elders and the apostles of GMS, peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf that would die the house of David. All right, this is a portion of GMS Boston coming in with our, our weekly address and Lord willing through the Spirit. This is edifying. So, you know, you know, you know, brothers, um, 2022, all right, the year of, of the turn up, hey, and, and a lot of things is turning up, all right? And as prophets of the, of, of the Heavenly Father, pro meaning before, so to say, you know, we're just telling you uh, all what's going on in the world, you know, your, your, your uh, uh, spiritual news anchors, if you will. We're going to broadcast the news, but we're going to filter it with the scriptures, which is the, the, the word of the Heavenly Father, which is, you know, um, the, the word of the Heavenly Father, you know, with, with the truth, you know, because there's a lot of lies and there's a lot of bones that you got to sift through. But the Lord put the spirit on us to do uh, diligent research and. And, 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 you know, study to show ourselves approved, all right, so that we could get this information and, and, and give it out to, you know, to the hopeful elect, all right, the cream of the crop of you so-called Blacks, Native American, and Hispanics, the ones that slated from the beginning of the foundation to be delivered. So we got a lot. Sometimes you, you, you skim through these articles and you, you look for a lesson, look for one article to do a lesson on, and um, you, you start reading them all, and you like, man, everything is going on. Too much is going on. Famines. You know, droughts, earthquakes, wars, uh, uh, shootings, you know, mass shootings. And, 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 and that becomes the lesson, you know, the, the point of the the, the, uh, the the backbone of this lesson is it is a lot going on, the, on in the world. We got a lot of articles we're going to bring up. We got some precepts that we're going to bring out. And Lord willing, it's edifying. Go ahead, Taza. Uh, what you got? It. Yeah, Khan, I got uh, Second Ezra 8, and I'll start at verse 61. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not shown unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Hey, and hey, real quick, real quick, uh, hey, what is judgment? Judgment, we can't harp enough, you know, you so-called Black Native American and Spanish, you Israelites underneath a, a contract, you know, and that's with one with blood. You know, you were given law, statutes, and commandments, all right? And with those laws, statutes, and commandments came a uh, judgment for if you broke those laws, all right? And regardless if you believe or not, Romans, the third chapter, so what if some didn't believe? Um, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? In other words, just because you don't believe that you're an Israelite, uh, that you don't believe in the Bible, that you don't believe, all right, that the word uh, 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 and these curses doesn't mean you're not underneath them, doesn't mean they're not going to apply. All right, so these judgments are happening in the world because the people are not following after the laws that were created. So when you break a law, when you break a, 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 a statute, when you break a command, there's consequences to that. And this is what's happened on earth. This is the reason why the Lord is putting his spirit on Edomites to go in uh, uh, restaurants or, or, or with grocery stores, uh, earthquakes, are taking people out, tornadoes, are taking people out. This is the reason why all these things are happening. Police officers are, are putting men to death, gang violence, uh, looting, robberies, uh, all these things at an all-time high, by the way. Murder at an all-time high, obesity, drug usage, all these things, these are judgments our right, French is the laws of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead, bro. Come on. Uh, then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitudes it's like it, of... It's like it, bro. Can you start up a little bit and, and segue into that? Yeah, Con. Second Ezra 8, I'll start at 61 again. Yep. Uh, uh, Second Ezra 8, verse 61. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Yeah, that's and, what it is. But that's the thing. This truth has, is not given to everybody. So in a world with a population with 7 billion, the Heavenly Father is looking for 144,000. Again, 12,000 out of each tribe. That's really going to truly understand this, this word all right, and coming to this, this, this knowledge and wisdom. So this word isn't given to everybody. Don't expect everybody to come into the know. Everybody that you tell ain't going to get it. You know, he only giving it to a certain amount of men. Go ahead, bro. Come these things have I not shown unto all men, but uh, unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitudes of the wonders which thou will, will begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not shown me? In uh, Second Ezra 9 verse 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when right. thou Real quick, bro. So he said, Look, thou showed me all these things that thou going to begin to do in the last times in which... When you go into the last time, you're talking about the end of the days, all right? And the end of the days is not talking about the end of life, but the end of an eon, which is an age, which goes into the age of Esau. Uh, Esau being the end of the world and Jacob being the beginning of it that followeth. 
So Ezra's asked the angel, you know, hey, at what time um, are these things going to happen? And, and what the angel told Ezra is because we know through the scriptures that no man knows the time. But what the angel told Ezra was to measure the time Billy G in itself. Go ahead, bro. Con, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will, will begin to visit the world which he made. Go ahead. Uh, th therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yeah, so the Heavenly Father spoke of these things, earthquakes and uproars of the people. All around the world, people are uh, in uproar. Uh, they're unhappy. They're unsettled with their leaders, whether it be Congress, the Senate, Mayor, Prime Ministers, Kings, um, just rulers in general. The whole world is upset. Inflation at an all-time high. Again, murder, death, obesity, a lack of food, famine, uh, gas prices at all, energy prices, wars, rumors of wars. You know, nobody's happy with what's with uh, with what's going on in, in, in the earth. And these things were prophesied; they were written about in the beginning. We only living in 2022, in which these things are now starting to play out. All right, and this is what their brother's reading. Go ahead, bro. Con, verse five: For like as all that is uh, made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Yeah, the scriptures say that the end is manifest, meaning the end is you're going to see it. It sucks about that in the book of Habakkuk. We keep bringing out the same scriptures because this is the time that we live in it. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. So these things are going to happen and they're undeniable. So at this point, it's uh, was it cognitive dissonance where people, they're so used to believing in one way, they've been lied to so much that when you finally tell them the truth, their brain doesn't know how to accept it. So what their brain does is it just shuts down and it, and, 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 and it, it wants to believe a lie. It would rather believe a lie, rather believe in something that's comforting, something that's soothing. Even though they know that what we're saying is the truth, they don't want to accept the reality because it's too much for them. You know, it's too. And that's, this is the world that we live in. The people can see it. But, you know, rather than to grab the uh, bull by the horn, so to speak, they rather just go back into their mixed world, into their uh, virtual reality world and, and act and pretend like these things aren't happening. But guess what? It's happening, man. This war is happening. You know, this famine is on the way. Race wars are on the way. All the writing is on the wall, you know, and, and these are the last warnings because we talk about the, uh, the, uh, f the famine of the word, the famine of hearing the word. The crackdown on, you know, the brotherhood in, in, in particular, and not just the crackdown on the brotherhood, but the persecution of the men of the Lord is coming. So you're not going to be able to hear this word. So these are the final warnings that's going up. You have something? Anybody got something? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I got a precept real quick. This is second Ezra 16 and 35. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child come forth, they slack not a moment. Even yeah. shall sell the. Sorry, Go ahead, bro, you got it. Even so shall not the pla um, plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. O oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle, and then those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Yeah, so the plagues are the judgment that's coming to the earth, all right, uh, be going into the transgressions. The scriptures say that the sins are, are primarily of Babylon, in this, in this particular case with Babylon being the head honcho in which everybody following after, the uh, the sins have reached into the heaven. And with those sins come judgments, which are, are going to come in a form of plagues, man. All right, this is just the reality. This is what's happening in your world. You know, this is just the truth, right? This is evident, okay? And the only way out of this is through the protection and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, coming underneath this umbrella, all right, and washing yourself from the filth of this world and, 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 and you know, um, ultimately, you know, uh, being part of that number, that great number. Go ahead, Tazawa. Yeah, Khan, uh, just kind of going back to our uh, second Ezra, the ninth chapter that I brought out, 
you know, it says with the signs and the wonders, you know, uh, the Lord's going to get more into it in uh, Luke, uh, Luke 21, verse 7. Uh, and they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what shall and what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and the time draweth near. Go ye not, therefore, after them. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Hey, you see, somebody wrote this over 2,000 years ago, you know? Is, are, are these things not coming to pass? Great wars, famines, all right? You have food shortages. So, let, hey, let's get into some of these articles, bro. Okay. That, 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 that'll, that'll segue it in beautifully into some of these articles because it's not just – we ain't just coming up with this. We ain't just making this stuff up, all right? This Go is national, news, national headline. There's, a, there's a such thing called the global uh, – uh, not just the global food chain, but the global chain in general where all these nations – are forced to rely on different nations, even nations that's literally at war with one another. This is how the world, this is how the heavenly fellows set the world up. You got you got nations like the European Union putting sanctions on, on Russia, but Russia supplies them with half their gas, supplies them with oil, you know? Uh, wheat is coming from here, so China supplies this, but you know, there's war going on, so there's a, the, 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 the food chain is about to be cut in half, man. Boats aren't going to be able to freely roam once this world war gets uh, started, and that's going to have an effect on people. The, the dollar collapse. All right, there's a lot going on. So let's get into some of these articles, brother. Oh, Carl. I have one real quick. So lock your bill with me. Real quick. Um, going into the signs of the heavens, because that's uh, in the scriptures, it talks about, uh, uh, you know, the omens, you know, about the, the stars in the, in, the, in, the, in the signs in the heavens which is in uh, Joel, uh, in the second chapter. So what I have right here, well, let me put up on the screen. It's an occurrence will happen on Sunday evening or Sunday night, which is called a, so lock here. It's called a super flower blood moon, all right? And it says um, dramatic, uh, dramatic total lunar eclipse coinc uh, coincided um, with a super moon when the moon is at its closest point to Earth and reflects a red and orange light. All right. And I bring that out real quick because, once again, these are also signs of a transition, something happening in the Earth. All right. Going back to what we brought out in our second Ezra, uh, what was it, the, the ninth chapter, when it says the end is manifest, these things are being made known by way of these signs. All right. And real quick, Bob, uh, bear with me. I'll bring out a piece of Go ahead, brother. Hey, you got it, brother. Come Take on. your time, bro. Going to Joel, the second chapter. All right. And it mentions. Um, Joel 2 and verse 1. Nah, verse, oh. verse 30. Okay. And it says, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillar of smoke. The sun shall be the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord Yahweh shall come. All mm. right. So once again, we're gonna witness these things. All right. Uh, rare sightings. All right. Uh, before the day uh, of Yahweh shall come. Before that time. All right. So once again, you've seen these things happen in the world. Just know that we're closer and moving closer to the Lord's return. And and, and with that, with us moving closer to the Lord's return. You're going to have more uproars. You're going to have more chaos being brewed up in the earth. All right. Because these are also, once again, the things that we're expecting to see, like the Lord had gave us the warning. All right. We have uh, another article. This was happening that same day. This is uh, this 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 uh, mass shooting. All right. Happened on the same day that the, um, that the super flower blood moon took place. All right. Hey, now, what did our lawyer, how should I say? He said, nation shall rise up against nation. That's mm -hmm. not kingdom against kingdom. He said also, he said kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom is Russia versus America. All mm -hmm. right. That's Taiwan versus uh, China. Mm -hmm. That's uh, North Korea versus, uh, well, actually, that's a civil war. You know what I'm saying? Because they're all Koreans. 
-hmm. But the, the point is, you know, a, a nation versus nation is nationality versus nationality. So this is Esau versus Jacob. You know, this is the Chinese versus uh, 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 the, the, the Japanese, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is this is an example as to what the Heavenly Father said will be happening in the last days. So we could read this article. You could get into it. It says, um, the title reads, this is from Fox 13 News. It says, title reads, America's violent weekend, deadly mass shooting spans coast to coast. All right. It says, a series of mass shootings killed and injured several people over the weekend in Buffalo, New York, uh, Laguna Woods, California, and also Houston, Texas. It says, uh, here is what to know about each uh, of the investigations. Right. We have, uh, it says, 18-year-old. Open fire at a Buffalo supermarket, killing 10. All right, I'm going to read a little bit and I'm going to jump down. It says, a white 18-year-old uh, wearing body armor and live streaming with a helmet camera opened fires around 2.30 p.m. local time on Saturday outside uh, Topps Friendly uh, Market. Uh, it says, it's a, super, it's a supermarket in the predominantly black neighborhood of Buffalo, New York. There you go. Yes. And then um, go to the next one. But hey, once again, it, it, there's a video out there as well that's showing you the chaos that he was uh, uh, doing, you know, all the destruction that he was causing. All right. And as soon as he, he was driving around the parking lot, he jumps out. The first first individual we see was a, a, a Jake, a Jake woman. All right. And he shot her right in the head. All right. Then he went into the stores and started uh, opening fire on other Jakes. All right. But hey, man, showing you that Esau, Esau is ready, man. Esau is ready to uh, come down on, on, on you Israelites, man. There's right. a so-called a so-called white man who you know he put the gun on. He, he apologized to him. He said, "I'm sorry," and he let him live. You know, and he killed the he, <coughs> he killed the, the jigs. So that's Revelation 12 and 12. He also yep. left a hundred and was 180 plus page manifesto. You know, and it went into uh, the Great Replacement. All right, so it's just the uh, uh the, the basically the, the the mantra, the idea, ideology of Esau being replaced. In his own, well, in his so-called own country, right? We know his land belonged to God, but hey, he took over it, so it is his country right now, and it's gonna be destroyed because of him. So you know, it, it is what it is. But um, he left that manifesto, basically stating on how blacks are overpopulating and browns and taking over, and how whites aren't being born enough, which goes into what Roe versus Wade that we was going into uh, right. last, week. and this is gonna go into the feeling of Esau coming down, having great wrath because he know if he had but a short time, a short time to rule, a short time to have influence, a short time to be, you know, political power, you know, uh, physical power, you know, so they, they're, they're afraid that, you know, we're going to do what they did to us, which is true. Revelation, what's that? The 13th chapter? Yep, 13. Uh, 9 and 13. Mm -hmm. But um, go ahead, bro. You got it. Come on. I'll go into the next one. It says California churchgoers detained gunmen after deadly shooting. A man who opened fire during a lunch uh, reception at a Southern California church on Sunday was detained by uh, parishioners. It says, according to the sheriff's official, who called their in interve uh, intervention an act of exceptional heroism and bravery. One person was killed and four others were critically wounded in the afternoon shooting at Geneva Presbyterian Church in the city of Laguna Woods, Orange County Sheriff's Department, official said. All right, so as you see, this is another shooting that took place. All right, um, and then you have one more. It says two killed, three hurt in Houston flea market shooting. Two people were killed, and three more were taken to the hospital with injuries after a shooting Sunday at a bustling, uh, a bustling Houston flea market. It says uh, authorities, the shooting, the shooting at an open open air market arose from an altercation that involved at least two gunmen. At least two guns in all five of the people, according to Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez. He said no innocent bystanders were injured. All right, it says investigation believe uh, one of the people hospitalized was among the those who opened fire, and two more suspected uh, suspected shooters were detained at the scene. All right, so that's it on that one, you know. But oh, yeah, I got a quick precept, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got, I got a um, precept after you too. Oh, come on, come on. I got a uh, Matthew twenty four. And 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You know, and the, the, the times that we're living in, you can see there's no more morals. There's no more respect. People are are, are going out, uh, guns blazing with no values, taking matters in their own hands. As is, you know, this is part of prophecies. It was second as the 16th chapter is because 
what happened with you know with the crown 19 uh, all this stuff that's happened with uh biden and, and then um this war it's all the tricking down effect of people losing their minds man and they can't take it anymore so they're becoming barbaric they're becoming ultimately it's the lord putting the spirit of vengeance into these other spirits you know what i mean uh to act out his judgment but you know this is all leading to prophecy and this is signs man like the world itself is just going down the toilet man just the morality and and this is a indicator of a downfall of uh the the, the world of, of esau's kingdom man and this is how he's going to go out, man. He's going to go out guns blazing, uh, Revelations 12 and 12, you know. And, and this is what we're here to give warning to you, Jakes, man. As the scripture says, that never trust thy enemy. Because now they, the Lord is going to put in, in their hearts and their spirits that they're going to uh, show their horns. And they're going to show that they hate you, man. And then you're going to realize that, damn, that's my enemy, you know. Uh, Jacob's trouble is coming, man. And this, these are indicators, man. We in the, the, the decline of America's uh, values and, and moral uh, compass, man, you know? That's right. Uh, calm. Calm. I got the book of Proverbs 22 and 3. It says a prudent man. And when you go into the definition of prudent, it means acting with or showing care and thought for the future. A prudent right. man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are, un um, and, and are punished. That's right. right. And then the simple way ain't going to pay attention. It's a lot, bro. No, 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 yeah, the simple way ain't paying attention, man. You know, the, the Lord told us to measure the time diligently, be circumspect, you know, uh, never trust thy enemy. You know, uh, this place right now is polluted because it will put you in a trance and think you that uh, this place is actually good or you actually can trust on your neighbor or trust your people, man. No, the, the spirits are about to be created. The things about to uh, ramp up even higher, man. Yeah. And this is why this is the shadow of Valley of Death. You know, this place is polluted, you know. And Esau is about to come down with that great wrath. And we're telling you, Jakes, man, it's time to seek the Lord, man, and repent. Because as the brother mentioned in, in the first uh, scripture, the, the judgment of the Lord is at hand, man. And the Lord is only going to bring bad times, evil, tribulation, miseries. You know, there's no peace and safety. Ain't no kumbaya and, and love uh, coming. Because that was a time, right now we're in a time of, of hate in a time of war, as according to Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. Man. Huh. But just to add on to you, uh, what you had mentioned, um, second Ezra, uh, what was it, the eighth chapter that you had brought up earlier, when the, uh, the angel spoke unto Ezra, says, uh, uh, basically, I have revealed this unto men like uh, you and uh, men like also unto you. All right. Mm -hmm. So, so that is showing that Ezra and the men that take heed to these signs, these prophecies are prudent. All right. They mm -hmm. care for what's to come. And, and once again, the scripture says, um, uh, that uh, he hid it himself, all right? Basically, you knowing these things, what you're going to do? You're going to hide yourself. How do you hide yourself? Like the brother mentioned earlier, under the umbrella of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. But when you read exactly. 2 Corinthians 15, in the fourth verse, it says, all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. So what we're going to witness is now Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is bringing harsh judgment live and, and, and live and direct, all right, uh, to these, uh, uh, you know, these wicked jakes out here, man. All right, right? and that's yeah, 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 yeah. live on camera. And so much yep. that they had to take Jake, them. Yep. You got it, bro. Jake, no, I was going to mention, bro, slack it, bro. Jake is going to keep on crying, keep crying to the adversary, keep keep, keep begging and, 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 and wondering why. But we look, we're telling you why. So, yep. therefore, they're going to continue to die because they continue to fan their hand at the prophets. It tells you that in Proverbs, the first chapter. You know, they fan their hand at the prophets. They don't want to listen. You know, how long you simple ones where you love simplicity and fools hate knowledge they hate knowledge they don't want to they don't know who they are they want to know who our power is they don't want to know who the enemy is they want, they want to look at reality as to um what's going on in the world it's not hard at, you know to look and see that the so-called white man is your adversary he's your enemy he's your foe he doesn't like you you know he doesn't like you. he doesn't want you to succeed in the society they're never going to give you justice you know why because they're unjust people you know there's a devil are right, the deceivers that are lies are always they're constantly lie. They're Satan. They're gonna be always adverse to you, but you keep on running to these devils. You trust on this broken staff, you know, and that's gonna be your 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 downfall. Go ahead, Yakalum. You got it. Come, I'm gonna back you up because you mentioned in Proverbs one and twenty two, it says, "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in his scorning, and fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you." I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused, 
I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but yet have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Hey, if I may mention, this is to the Israelites, man. This this word, this these the, the, the Lord set up the prophets to teach you Israelites to get right and repent, man. He gave you an avenue, a chance, a way out. That's what we're in, we're in the uh, uh, grace of mercy. The doors of mercy is still open. But as time goes, keeps going, we see these signs and wonders. You know, soon you better seek the Lord before he, uh, uh, before the evil day draw off not. See, this is not for all nations. He's calling unto you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to get right and repent. Way of the prophets, man, you know? Con, con, it says, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall mm. seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord they would none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Gone. They gotta die. So, corrupt, corrupt. I don't know if you want, but can we go into the next article? Con, con, I got you. All right, this is um the hill.com, and it says, uh, this was posted uh yesterday, uh, 5 16 22. It says, uh, this week, House targets baby food shortage. It says, Senate looks to move Ukraine aid, right? And it says, uh, the House will take up legislation this week to address the nationwide baby formula shortage as Republican hammered the Biden administration over the issue. Uh, it says, uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, on Friday said the House will take up a pair of bills this week to tackle the shortage, which have left parents and guardians scrambling to find food for their infants. Right. And this is uh, on the other side of the Capitol. Senators will work to push through a, near, a nearly four, 40 billion Ukraine funding package delayed on week uh, delayed last week af after Senator Rand Paul blocked a vote on a bi uh, bipartisan deal. All right. But hey, look at the, this is this is another um, uh, what is it? Another plague <laughs> that hey. takes place, you know, uh, food shortages for the children. All right. For uh -huh. babies. You know, you have uh, women that got toddlers, toddlers, infants, and also uh, women that are pregnant. That's good. That's suffering. And this, once again, this is all the beginning of sorrows. All right, these things is going only going to increase, and so much that, you know, we 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 know through the spirit of power, y'all about Shemuel Shah that this is all orchestrated. All right, because there's a man behind uh, 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 the, 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 the 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 chaos. All right, the man behind the, this 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 thing happening. All right, which is Esau, the master, the master, the master of disaster. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Huh. Yeah, 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 real quick, just to back up uh, the brother Karab, uh, 2nd Ezra uh, 16, and I'll, I'll start at verse 17. Uh, what was me? What was me? Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold. Famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of their scourges. Uh, be, behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine and great confusion. For many of them that dwell on earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. You know? Hey, that's the will of the Heavenly Father for a lot of these people to die of the famine. The reason why the Heavenly Father hasn't brought great judgment on the earth already is because he wants a lot of these people just to stick around for one part where there's no food and for them to die. All right. A lot of a lot of a lot of these parents, a lot of these proud mothers, you know, their judgment is to watch their babies starve to death. And to me personally, you know, I, that's a horrible way to die. That's a horrible uh, mm -hmm. thing, a sight to behold, a thing to watch. The scripture says, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, just, it's better to die, but, and roughly paraphrase, it's better to well, die, I, I but... Got it for you, huh? Go ahead, come, come bring, bring, it, bring it on. I, I got it for you. Uh, Lamentations 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. But yeah, these it's kind of... Get, yeah, it's better to get a bullet in your head than to die slow, uh, agony, you know, pain, 
you know, Torture. mostly Americans, you Babylonians, you know, can't go a couple hours without food or can't even fathom, you know, um, not having food or not having, uh, it's to the point where it's gluttonous, you know what I'm saying? A multi abundance of food and going to grocery stores and seeing, but when you go into these grocery stores and you see no food you, in these trucks, uh, stop delivering into these markets, you know, reality is going to set in that, you know, the whole world was starving for Africa, whole continent Africa has been starving for a long time and you didn't take to heart of anything, you know, you, you didn't take to mind of any goddamn thing, all right, and and and, and the Heavenly Father is going to enjoy, like it said in the book of uh, Proverbs, the first chapter, he's going to laugh at your calamities, he's going to enjoy watching people suffer, man, and, and again, he goes back to your, that proud, that nigger woman, that, that, mm -hmm. that, that that welfare queen, you know, that's 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 who's gonna get it, you know. That the, I don't need a man, yeah, you know. I get it on my own, you know. I got Section Eight food stamps and housing, and 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 who are you, nigga? Well, where's your God? Or you know that that one, that one, she gonna pay. The world is getting ready to pay. This is what this thing about that, because the scriptures talk about, and I think it's Ezra's the mm -hmm. fourth chapter that the seeds of evil has already been sown, and we know what we know about the laws. Of the heavenly father when you put that seed in that ground and that water hit it you know and that sun hit it you gotta you you, you gotta reap what you sow so the world has already reaped the the, the seeds of destruction you know especially esau edom along with his little minions the two-thirds and a nigger woman who was in a garden with him who signed that contract you know that contract of evil you know that that deception you know basically the tag team against adam you know which represents you know the men of israel you know, oh man, it's gonna be a beautiful sight to behold the 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 the, the arrogancy, that proud looks to be wiped from the faces of these people and for them to suffer, all right, because they had their chance to repent and they refused to, okay? They refuse. And this is what's coming up the pipe. This is the reality, all right. This is the scripture starting to speak. This is the men of the Lord, the prophets telling you guys exactly what's gonna happen, how it's gonna happen. Precisely to a T, mm -hmm. all right. No, no wavering. This is not an ah, uh, kinda if maybe. This is a fact. All right, go ahead, Tazawa. The low will come. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, Isaiah, uh, uh, Isaiah 13, and uh, I'll get straight to the point. Verse 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Yeah, the, the arrogance, the proud, you know, you're not you're not gonna see those faces anymore. It's gonna it's the folly that's gonna be wiped off the face of the earth, man. And and and, and everything is gonna uh, uh be in position to be put back into position, you know? Because they're not gonna be fully put back into position until the Lord comes back and, and set it up. And even then it's gonna be some work to do, but you're gonna start to see things be put back into its proper perspective, and nature is gonna take its course, all right, because it will no longer be manipulated by the powers to be, all right? A man is going to be a man and a woman is going to be a woman, all right? It's going to be survival of the fittest and only the strong will survive. And we know that the truth is in, in, in the power of the Lord, all right? So these, these these witchcraft and these devils and these deities and these rosary bees, they ain't going to save you, okay? All that sage burning. <laughs> yeah, that sage burning, yep. <laughs> I got to this up. Uh, this is Matthew 24 and uh, verse 19. This goes into uh, the time of 70 AD, but you can apply it to this time uh, today. This is Matthew 24 and 19. It says, And woe unto them that are with child, and to, to them that give suck in those days. It says, uh, But pray, pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. But then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor even shall be. All right. Right. So Esau is talking about. Um... The electricity bill basically being as high as it has ever been. All right. So pray that your flight not being a winner. All right. Woe to them that get that that are with child and, and give suck in those days because why? Your breast is your breast, your ain't no uh uh, uh milking your, your breast because of your dietary that you eat. All right, your shit's all dried up. Okay, no baby formula to be found. Imagine how people what people are gonna be doing over baby formula, man. Baby flow will become gold, but don't worry, Esau will usher in, um, you know, chaos. What is it? Chaos. Order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. He'll usher in 
we'll segue right into it, right? Because old old Kill Gates has a solution. And this is the thing with Esau. He presents the problem and he presents the solution, which is never really a solution. It's always more of a problem because this devil can't do that. Mm -hmm. and then, like if I may add, um, I was going to say real quick, it's like we're basically going through a siege because the definition of a siege is a military operation in which enemy forces surround a town or building, cutting off essential supplies with the aim of compelling the surrender of those inside. Hmm. And you have an account of that in, um, I believe it's the book of Judith, right? Yep. yep. Uh, but uh, not, not just that, because this brother mentioned it. This is what this devil wants to do. They're causing all these issues so that you have to go to them. You're going to have to go to them. That baby formula thing is going to look like a Black Friday. You know, when they'd be fighting over that TV or when they were fighting over the toilet tissue. Imagine yeah. when it's a life on the line this time. You see, yeah. It's going to be bad. I just want to add that in real quick. Yep. Right. All right. Going into the next article, this is globalnews.ca. It says, lab-grown human breast milk may be on the sh store shelves in a few years. We know Esau. They've been working on this for a minute. You know, Crying. working on this hey, for a minute. Quick, brother. You got it, bro. If you don't want, uh, just because you mentioned that, Second Corinthians two verse eleven, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, you know? yeah, we see We're what's not going ignorant on. of Esau, man, and his plans, yeah. his agendas, man. You go into that word devices, it's a, a evil plot, an agenda, and we know, you know, these 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 people in high places, they they believe in uh, depopulation. They believe in whoever controls the food, you know. You know, uh, I, I forgot what to. Uh, what person said, uh, I don't care about who controls the food or the as long as they control the money or something, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, I basically, don't care about, don't the laws, as long as we control the money. The so money yeah. they were above congressmen, they were above senators, they were above pre uh, presidents, you know? Yeah, con. Hey, we're not ignorant of it. Satan's going to get an advantage of, of a lot of you Israelites, man, with their devices, man, with these uh, evil agendas. And, you know, and ultimately they could easily push out this chip as well, man. You know, crafty this is council, all in brother. play. Bro. Crafty council. Bro? I said, yeah, yeah. crafty council, man. Right. Order out of chaos, you know. They set setting Jacob for the drive-by. They aren't, they aren't, they're not, again, be the the with the, the ability to withstand the wiles of the devil. Jake don't possess that because they don't possess the scriptures. They don't possess the Holy Bible. You know, mm -hmm. we've been given a roadmap to the future by way of the, the prophecy, which is in written in the Holy Bible. So that we're able to navigate in this way, we're able to hop over the or hop, leap over the the obstacles and you know hurdle over them and the see the problems, and get out of it. We offer solutions, you know, through the spirit. But Jake is willy nilly, and they gotta just be uh, 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 extras, you know. You know, in a scary movie in the beginning, somebody just has to be there for a while. Their role isn't long, you know, and they they get killed. They get killed yeah. off, you know, gruesomely. And then you know that's just how the, that's just how the heavenly father played this thing out. All right, so you can read this real quick, bro. Con. And um, we'll move on. Con. It says a North Carolina startup called BioMilk, right, may have whipped up a, a nutritionally comparable alternative to human breast milk, except except this milk isn't produced in a mammary gland, but in a bioreactor. Yeah, see, nothing's no, nothing's really never natural with these damn yeah. devils. You know, they can't take the natural. That goes back to Cain, the earth not yielding its fruit, meaning like, you know, the earth gives us everything that we need. You know, the heavenly, the heavenly Father set up everything to work perfectly in sync with one another. You know, a lady has a, a, a baby. She eats fruits and, and good veggies and nourishments to nourish herself. And then her breast produces milk. And that's a cycle of life. But with everything with Esau, it's just always fake, you know, incubator, uh, 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 uh a uh, 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 fake heart, you know, uh, uh, a uh, milk made in a bio lab. And nothing is never natural with this damn devil, right. you know, because he's, he's Satan. He's Satan. But go ahead, bro. Con, hey, just to add on too, even Esau had pushed on women that, uh, you know, not to really breastfeed like that. Like in the right. ancient time, that's how women used to do it. But, you know, nowadays you have a, a majority of these women that's turning the formula and Similac, you know. Yeah, but they're not even naturally breastfeeding their kids. It's pushed. Yeah. It's pushed. That witchcraft that they think that, oh, their boobs are going to sag or this, because that's just the whole fucking propaganda of America, man. Pushing. Well, it, 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 boobs end up saggy any goddamn way. Yeah. 
right? It says, uh, for parents who can't breastfeed or who adopt or use used surrogates, having another option for their children besides formula milk could be a game changer. It, it's also very common for women not to be able to produce enough breast milk on their own. It says, um, yeah, how, how has it become common for women not to produce something that's natural? That means the world is upside down. It's tampered. Go ahead, yeah. bro. Yeah, come on, because there even there is even uh teas, there's even uh natural herbs that these women can take to increase yeah. that milk. You know, yeah, yeah. the heavenly father's perfect in all his ways, you know. Right. They're, 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 they're not gonna push that in the hospitals. Exactly, yeah. exactly. This is co-founder and chief science officer of Biomilk, Layla Strickland ran into her own issues with producing enough milk when she had when she was a new mom in 2009. Hey, they always got like some sob story like that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. so always started off in a garage. You know what I'm saying? Once he once he he lost his job or you know like Bill Gates and mm-hmm. or, uh, or or you know dropped out of college or it's always got some story, you know, to to add to his bullshit. When it's all it's all bullshit. It's all false. Yeah. So it be all bullshit. It'd be all bullshit, you know? Uh, Esau likes stories. Yeah, I got a funny hey. story, you know? <laughs> hey, Aga, if I may add real quick. quick. Story. Go ahead, bro. Connor, man, if I may add real quick, I just Googled her name, and I typed in Ann Billy the Goat. Sure enough, Billy the Goat back the company, says lab produced breast milk is three to five years away. Yeah, so he invested in that. He and He invested in her company, and it goes back to showing you, you know, that we ain't ignorant of Satan's, the advices, the FDA, these pH bio, they all work. They all, they, they, they all under that same umbrella. Yeah, taking orders, yeah. They, yeah, they all got the same orders, even in their ignorance. Let's just say, for example, I'm not going to sway. We understand that the medical field is controlled by who? Can, can control by the Rockefellers. So even a doctor in his ignorance, if you control the system and you write the book, it yeah, doesn't yeah. matter if they know you or not. They got to study your book and push your agenda. So even in their ignorance, they, yeah. they, yeah, yeah, man, it's, they, 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 they monopolize. The camp. You know, yeah, like monopolize. Con. Yeah. Even that guy that came to the camp uh, that he was studying the law. You know what I mean? He he was studying under what the, these elites uh, wrote down for them. You know what I mean? Even in his ignorance, he's thinking he's doing a good thing, making his parents proud. But ultimately, he's fulfilling the role of Satan, man. You know. Right. Hey, real quick too, just to add on, as uh, what is the ability to go? You know, his hand is behind a lot of lab uh things that's happening in the lab, such as uh that what is it uh Beyond Meat or that plant based yeah. meat lab yeah. meat. That's what they're pushing to the forefront now. You know, uh, right. uh Beyond Meat uh that has a right. high amount of estrogen. It's, it's so much lab stuff going on that this man is working on that. Hey, it's, it's just so hey, there was, there's multiple on, plants, on the flip right? side of that, on the flip mm-hmm. side of that, he buys up actual, literally farmland, uh, natural yeah. farmland to do what with it, and they were paying people to destroy crops. Yep. On top mm-hmm. of that, he had articles after articles of you know f- certain food plants, you know, just mysteriously um, being put on fire, being That's put right. down. So we're not ignorant. We the Lord has yeah. put the spirit in us to uh, 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 put this thing together. To place this thing together, we're not lying to you. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not lying to you. You could look this stuff up yourself. You know, hey, look, but, there's an article oh, right here. This is a, uh, another article, uh, news10.com. It says, uh, we're in a crisis. It says, farmers sound alarm over coming food shortage. Oh, wait, it's like it, bro. Now, mm-hmm. when you go into um, Yakalung, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the uh, the bird's dung, yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay. So when um, you go into that, kings, yep. yep. When you go into that, it goes into a fertilizer. Now, what uh, if you if you was a Google, you know, uh, what was uh, birds dung used for? It was in the ancient world. It was used as a fertilizer. Mm-hmm. So when you go into the fertilizer in the, of the world today, you have Russia and the Ukraine, which which gave a huge amount of the world's fertilizer. Not just to the world, but to America primarily. And what the fertilizer was used to help to do, the 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 the, the farmers were barely getting, making a profit with the fertilizer. So without the fertilizers, they damn sure are not gonna make a profit. And this is this is what you see this article going into the farmers signing the law over a coming food shortages 
because of the lack of fertilizer. But so when you go into what the uh, bird's dung was, I don't know if y'all if you have that pulled up, but if you go into what the bird's dung was, when the scriptures talk about in the, in the book of Kings, a bird's dung sold for such and such, what that was talking about was it was going into the fertilizer, the, th the, the, the things that was needed to uh, make sure that your crop yielded a certain amount of food in order to be, uh, in order to be in a, in, in, in a plus, so to speak, you know, in order to make a gain, to make a profit. Mm -hmm. Carl, Carl, um, I have an article from the National Museum of American History, and it says to most people, bird poop is just something they scrape off the windshield of their cars, but it's more important than we think. In fact, droppings were once a very important commodity in the United States. Buying and selling bird poop is not as feather-brained as it may seem either. The sticky substance, re referred to as bird guano, was sailed around the world during the 19th century to be sold as the principal agricultural fertilizer mm -hmm. in the United States. See? And you see that? the picture of the birds, I, I know y'all probably can't see that. It's black and white, but that's all the birds. And it's showing you. So today's yep. fertilizers are commonplace, but 200 years ago, commercial fertilizers were rarely used. Farmers relied on manure, bones, and ash to supply the soil, but it wasn't fully understood why such materials were, were uh, beneficial. Then in the 1840s, bird guano made its appearance um, in, in the United States. So it's a, another word for what the scripture says. And I mind you, bro, because you mentioned that Second Kings, that, that goes to show because the Lord said Jacob's trouble is going to be a time like no other. When you read that account, it goes into hyperinflation. Look how much the ass's head was going for. Yeah, I Look got how that. how much the fertilizer was going for. Con. Con. You, you got it, bro? Or? No, no. no oh, oh, yeah, Con. I got a Second Kings 6 and 25. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it until an ass head's head was sold for four score pieces of silver and the fourth part of a cab of dove's dung for five pieces of silver. Yeah, you see? So when it talked about the uh when it talked about the the, the famine and it talked about the ass's head and then talked about the dove's dung, which was, you know, with with the brother just read going into the bird poop, it was more it wasn't about the eating of it more so, but the uh the actual fertilizer, the the the, the thing that was necessary all right, to make sure that the people yielded the maximum gain from their crops. So now Russia, I think, brother, if anybody looks it up, you can see what, what percentage of fertilizer that Russia supplied to America. You have America placing sanctions on Russia now, and also with the whole thing going on in the Ukraine, really Russia uh, made it so that nothing really is coming out of the Ukraine. But um, they supplied a lot of the fertilizer to the farmers here in America, man, and, and, and this is going to be a problem. Not to mention you got Bill Gates, you know, buying up stuff. So all these, all this ties in together. It all leads points back to the wicked. Hey, I got some little money. Quick. Yeah, I got some real quick. I had typed in the percentage of uh, fertilizer from Russia. It says Russia is the world's largest exporter of fertilizer, accounting wow. for twenty three percent of uh, ammonia exports. Exports so like fourteen percent of urea exports and ten percent of processed. Um, Prospate uh, exports and 21% of potash export, according to the data from the Fertilizer Institute. Now, when you talk about 20 to 25% of uh, 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 in, in, in a world with a population of 7 billion, man, that's 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 tremendous. That's tremendous. All right. So a lot of what's going on in here is the, you know, the world cutting itself in the throat. America cutting itself in the throat here. All right. Trying to put sanctions on Russia, but a lot of not just the fertilizer, but steel, you know, oil, 40 percent of gas, you know, which is going to cause a, a spike in electricity. It was on the news again. You know, our electricity is going to go up. You know, food is going to go up. Inflation. Hey, man, this thing is really the year to turn up. This thing is really about to turn up, man. Hey, this thing hey. is really about to turn the hell up. All right. And simultaneously, the dollar is crashing, yeah, having yeah. no value. So it's showing you that it's far out of its reach. You know, this is just something that uh, uh, is going to be uh, the set. That the, the stage is going to be set across the four corners of the earth. Real quick, just to add on to that fertilizer yep. um, um, document, right? It says uh, the the primary destination of fertilizers from Russia are Brazil with twenty one percent, China which is ten percent, the U S is nine percent, and India four percent. All right, 
So, you know, um, Brazil is getting hit bad, too. And yeah. you got to remember, too, America gets a lot of their uh, fruits and vegetables from where? All yeah, right. Brazil. Other countries. South America, yeah. Mm -hmm. South America. A lot of them bananas, a lot of them avocados, mm -hmm. a lot of Goya, the whole Goya, you know, yeah. whole Goya chain, a lot, a lot of food, plantains, you know, a lot of the food that, that we eat and we love to enjoy. You know, it's coming from it's South America. Domino effect, man. Yeah. You have to change the global chain. Once that global chain command is no longer a chain, that chain breaks. You ain't riding nowhere. You know when your cha your, your chain used to pop as a child. What was you doing? You pedaling. You know, <laughs> <You're> nowhere. <laughs> walking nowhere. Yeah. You know, walking. And that's what's about to come. And there's Caught no healing. Out. Use that analogy, like as the scripture says, man. Babylon would have been healed, but there's no healing of Babylon. So there's no way of uh, reverse changing this crisis. Yeah. You know, once all these plagues hit, it's going to come like a domino effect, man. There's nothing that's going to upset prophecy or, you know, or bring things back to normal. Ain't no, uh, you know, make America great again. It ain't no unified. It's not going back to normal, man. The Lord got his eyes upon this sinful kingdom, man. He's ready to move his hands, man. Move his, uh, he's moving his rook. He's moving his, uh, what do you call it? His, his uh, knight. He's ready to strike, man. To get che checkmate, man, for Babylon, huh? No reset button. That's right. Okay. No reset Come on, let me go, let me go a little bit into this because, you know, it embodies everything that we had just mentioned, right? It's this article. It says, the American food supply chain is, is in a crisis right now, a crisis that could be reflected on grocery store shelves and wallets by the end of summer. This warning comes from farmer John Boyd Jr., the president of the National Black Farmers Association, who, who spoke to Leland uh, Vitter on News Nation on Balance. It says, he says poor planting weather across much of the country, high, higher price on seed, fertilizer, and fuel, and supply chain issues are taking a heavy toll on farmers. We're going to see a lot of empty shelves and a lot of uh, a lot higher prices, Boyd Jr. said. Real quick, um, I want to grab a precept just to back that up. Going into 2nd Ezra's the 6th chapter. All right, uh, second Ezra 6 in verse, start at verse 22. So, like, I'm gonna start at verse 18. It said, and it, and it says, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw, draw nigh to visit them that dwell upon the earth, and will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness, and when the, when the affliction of Sion uh, shall be fulfilled, and when the world that that, that shall begin to vanish away shall, shall be finished. Then will I show these tokens, going back to those signs again we had mentioned earlier, the book shall be opened before the firmament and they shall see all together. All right? And the children of a year old shall speak with their voice, voices. The woman with child shall bring forth untimely children of three and four months old and they shall live and be raised up. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The four storehouses shall be empty, shall suddenly be found empty. The trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. All right. right. Hey, and the, the, keep going. Is it more? Yep, read yep. the next verse. Uh, verse 24. And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. And that's what's going to make people turn up, man. Yeah. See, like cop shootings and protests and, you know, looting and you know, all oh, that's cool, you know, but once there's no food, oh, man, you can forget about it. You can forget Carl, about it. See, it's a Carl, I'm in the back. You um, uh, you got more? No, no. Oh, no, no I was going to hit um, second verse 15, just right to the point real quick, verse 19. Yep. Well, I'm um, 18 because you mentioned afraid. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. We shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. See, that's the reason why. Not because of some nigga got shot, not because of Roe versus Wade, not because, you know, it's going to be because of once there's no food, all right, real monsters are going to show, man. Yeah. And people are going to go out there and go get it. That's right. All right. And it's going to turn friends into foes, all right, neighbors into enemies, adversaries. All right. All right. Real quick. I mean, um, because we say this confidently, you know, we, we trust in the Lord and we pray that the Lord has his uh, his hedge 
uh, and protection around us. You know, there's a outcome of if you seek the Lord, he, he, he'll protect you, man. It's in Isaiah, real quick, uh, Isaiah 65 and 12. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 65 and 13, therefore, shall, uh, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Mm -hmm. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Yo, so uh, we don't do these lessons. Yo, go ahead, bro. You, you got to go. Let's say, Baba Kishan, if you can read verse 12. Well, yeah, come on, come on. Verse 12 uh, therefore, will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So that's showing you the separation of the two. Those that are, that are constantly uh, in, uh, taking part of wickedness, they ain't trying to get right. This is what the Lord is going to bring upon you. You have no mm -hmm. covering. You're not going to be eaten in that time. But his servants who were seeking Yahweh Shem Roshah, uh, truth and sincerity, guess what? You know, he's they're going to be taken care of. All right? Karna right. Karab, man, if I may back you, second as this 15 real quick, it says um, 26, for the Lord knoweth all them that sinned against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. For now will the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them, for the Lord shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against them. Hey, that's right. Hey, that's, that's, this is our lesson for man. Hey, these times are coming. It's evil, tribulation, calamities is coming. And you're on, as an Israelite man, woman, a child, a so-called black, Negro, Latino, uh, Native American, you got to seek the Lord before the evil days draw nigh, man. You know, wow. I got real quick Ecclesiastes five and seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Uh, so we, we put the reality in front of your face. We we, we, we showed you articles. We backed them up with scriptures. And, 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 you know, this is just the message from the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. You know, in, in these latter times, this is what this is the reality. This is the road that we live in. It's obviously a, a dying. This world is decaying. It's old. It's corrupted. It's run by corrupt politicians, evil people. All right, and we look for their destruction. Scripture say, "Blessed is he that liveth to see the downfall of his enemy." And we wake up every day with the hopes of just hoping these things come to pass, so that we can get this old. We can walk through this 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 evil city to get to that 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 light on that shining hill, which is ultimately the kingdom of heaven. So we pray and we hope that that was edifying. We want to give you guys sound corrupt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, real quick, I had to put it up on the screen. I don't mean to cut you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. yeah that's, oh, that's right. I'm gonna run through this real quick. This is um from the hill.com. Once again, it says UFOs pose potential national security threat. Lawmakers want, and as you see the video that's being played, they're having a meeting. All right, talking about what's going on. All right, with the uh the the the, the chariots of the Most High. You know, some uh they call um UFOs being un unidentified. All right, but we they're identified in the scriptures. All right, mm -hmm. um, and real quick, I'm not gonna read, I'm not gonna go into the reading. I just showed a video real quick, but um, what's that? I think it's um, is it uh, Zachariah the fifth chapter? I yep. believe talk about it should enter into the house of the thief. Brian Rowe, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah and Zachariah five and one. Come on, come on. So I grabbed that real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, because you know this is the house of the thief. All right, Babylon, and you can expect more of the chariot sightings. And this is why Esau Edom is starting to speak on it because they're now noticing that, hey, man, you know, that this, these are all, once again, these are the signs. This is a That's sign, right. for, uh, uh, you know, for the elect that deliverance is near. And it's a sign for Esau Edom that his destruction is near as well. All right. So let me grab that real quick. Uh, Zechariah 5, I'm going to run through it real quick. 5 and 1, it says, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length of twenty length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then he said unto me, This is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off, as on this side, according to it, and everyone that swerves shall be cut off as on that on, on that side, according to it. And I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And it shall and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. All right. So, hey, man, it's, it's coming. 
All right. Uh, Lord's, will, Lord's will, we could do a lesson on this, this in particular, because, uh, you know, we always, we, we, because of time's sake, we didn't get a chance to go into it like we, like we, we should have. And we really, I really want to. I know your brothers feel the same way. Uh, plenty of articles and plenty of precepts that come to mind. Uh, when you think of the scripture, when you think of this video right here and what, how Esau is finally bringing it out. So, right. you know, for, for time's sake. Now, Lord's will, that's the next lesson that we we we, we do. Definitely going to get into what's going on in the UFOs, the terrorists, and how Esau is starting to bring them up because it's getting undeniable. You know, before, you know, they had monopolies over the cameras, but now everybody got a camera, right? So everybody could see what's going on in, 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 in the skies and recording it. It's getting to the point where they can't no longer hide it, especially with the prophets of the Heavenly Father. The force, you know, uh, uh, men of GMS and the other brothers that's, you know, bringing the truth as to what these things are. You know, they're forced to put it out there and say that, look, there's something out there. We don't know what the hell it is. You know, even though they know what the hell it is, because they, they know. But we'll get into it, all right? All right, man. So uh, with that, man, we hope and pray that those edifying. We want to give all praises to glory and honor to Yahweh, Bansh, Hashem, and our Shai, Bansh, and our Kafi, and our to the elders and the apostles, and the next, and the elders, 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 and the